The main industry in Taylor Borough was coal, coal mining, coal production, and uh, the breaking down of coal for transportation throughout the state. There was a minimum of 600 people employed, as many as 800 people employed, you know, depending on exactly what year we get into, but it was a, a huge employer in its day. 50 years ago, I would say that probably 80% or more of the people within our immediate area depended on the coal mines to survive. This operation in Taylor shut down in the late 1960s, and they lost 695 jobs in the borough. The loss of those jobs was a huge economic loss. Not only that, but they were left with abandoned coal mines, land that could not be used for anything else because it had been mined out, mined under, and just stripped down. There was nothing there. It was like the moon. No activity on this site at all. As part of being an environmental scientist who specializes in brownfield and sites and how to redevelop them, I look for opportunities to fund because I know that these are owned by public entities who don't have the sources of funding that a big land developer would have access to. And that's where the EPA grants and other grants at the state level come into play. The EPA was involved in this project beginning in 2006 when the borough applied for a brownfield grant and they were awarded $350,000. So our office provides the funding and technical support to assess the contamination at the property and help the borough plan the cleanup. This is a map of the entire site, 150 acres, and there are zones designated uh, medium, high, and low risk according to the void space and the potential to collapse. Taylor Borough lost approximately 200 homes due to mine caving. When we lose that many homes in a smaller town, that's a huge hit on our tax base. We have 150 acres in the middle of our town right now that we're generating no tax monies at all, and we're actually a, a total detriment to the town. So that the opportunity was there that if we can get this redeveloped and get some structures put up in here, we can reestablish our tax base in the town. I love working in the Brownfields program because not only is it a program that provides for protection of health and the environment, but it's an economic redevelopment program. Our agency comes in and provides money and technical assistance to assess and clean up properties, and then the community takes over and designs the ultimate end use for the property. So it's, it's a really comprehensive, holistic program that's protective of the environment, but also beneficial economically to the community. As a resident of the town all my life, I was born here, it's extremely exciting to see this happening now. It's brought so much excitement to, to our community and to Northeast Pennsylvania. This is not just a Taylor thing. This is Lackawanna County involved. This is the Riverside School District involved. We're waiting for that right person to come in through the door to develop it.